Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Oriole. In the last episode we took down Team Rumble, took down Arthur and he was incredibly difficult, had a Suicune, Entei, Raikou and a Ho-Ho and kept getting stat boosts like every turn boosting his special defense, defense, special attack, attack speed. It was just, it was an incredibly, incredibly difficult battle but managed to do it in the end. Then we spoke to um, the champion of the region It was like yo Come take down the Knights of Chroma, which is such a cool, cool name. I uh, have to head through Victory Isle first. So we are going to ooh, heal up first. That would be a, the best idea. <laughs> right, so we'll heal up. I might quickly buy some supplies if we need any. Some repels, some potions, revives and whatnot. Because if we have to make a nice long trek through Victory Isle. Or Victory Road to get to Victory Isle. Or something, Victory, Victory something. <laughs> we will, um... Yeah, we'll do that. So, let's ooh, get a few full restores because I am low. 12 sounds good. And the rest on revives because I only have 17. And I'm assuming these knights are going to be a lot, a lot tougher than Alpha. I hope not, but we'll see. Right, so we're going to head to the docks, which I believe we can actually fly to. Yeah, Fennel Docks. And we are going to head over to the west of the region um do we go through here maybe oh there he is yo are you ready to head over to victory isle i am let's go so this is victory isle it's a small island but the knights call this place home as it stands access to other parts of the island are currently very limited but the route up to victory cavern is straightforward north of here is a small route known as victory road be very careful as the Pokemon that wait you there are very powerful and a much higher level than that of the mainland. It's a nice spot for training. Anyway, at the end of Victory Road, you will find Victory Cavern. That is where I and the Knights will be waiting for you. Okay. Sounds very cool. Looking forward to this. Um, yo, what's up? Hello there, you must be a trainer. I don't tend to get visitors here who, are, who aren't aiming for the champion title. I wish you good luck with your battles here. Thank you. I appreciate that. So we'll quickly explore this little town first and then um, go up north and I feel like these are going to probably sell like some TMs and some good items and I may have just spent all my money which kind of sucks. <laughs> Please don't have anything really good. Um, we got some good stuff here that could be useful. What about here? Yo! Ooh, uh, I only have 600. Okay, so once I get to uh, Victory Cavern I'll fly back here and um, spend some of our money and get some of the stuff because a lot of this could actually be very, very helpful. I'm guessing this is a building or well, shipping place to get back to, um, yeah, get back to the mainland. Think you what it takes to be the true champion of Chroma? Good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> right, wait, 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 wait. Let me quickly go in here just to make sure we set the spawn because I don't want to have to, like, you know, run back. All right, so. Here we go, Victory Road. Uh, I want to see how tough the enemies are around here. And then I'll pop a repel after. Although, no point popping a repel if um, they're a high level, because then what are we going to do, you know? Level 77, that's... Um, yeah, it's pretty high, but we'll be good, we'll be good. Just want to see what other Pokemon we can find around here. Hopefully find some legendaries, that'd be quite nice. Because we still have the Master Ball. And I haven't seen any legendaries yet or anything I want to use it on. So we shall see. Alright, what we got here? We have a Altaria. I guess I could always capture that and then um, we got the Mega Stone for it as well. That could be pretty cool. Uh, anything else down here? Any items, TMs, Mega Stones? Doesn't look like it. And a Rapid Dash. Yeah, so I'm going to... um pop a repel once we get to the cavern go for a few more encounters just in case we find that you know special something but I don't think we are Star -ups. there is some decent Pokemon here but I need to do some grinding so I'm guessing I'm probably gonna have to this is where I'm gonna do it all right so let's pop the repel and oh we only got eight I haven't got any money to get any more so uh let's hope it's not too bad Oh, this is it. Okay then, <laughs> welcome. So you're the one uh, Tyson has told us all about. 
I'm the first of the Chroma Knights and my name is Flora. I specialize in grass type Pokemon. My role in the Knights is to represent the value of nature. The bond between Pokemon and nature is something special. It's something far deeper than what we as humans can ever understand. I see a button trainer within your heart. Let's see if you can if you can bloom. Okay, I was not expecting I was expecting like this a cave to lead to the um you know, Victory Cavern, but this is it. Okay, so now I know this is the um the Victory Cavern and the battles are happening now. I've done a lot of grinding because she's level 85. And I'm thinking the champion's probably gonna be in the 90s, so I've got him to level 90. Just hoping this is a good enough level. I'm gonna fake out the Rose Raid, and I'm gonna go for a Brick Break on the Abominus Node. Hopefully we can do some big damage. Nice, that's not bad. Don't freeze. No freeze, okay. I'm gonna Iron Tail the Abomber Snow and then detect with leaks. I think that's probably the best thing to do. All right, as long as we land that Iron Tail, I think should be all right. Perfect. Perfect, all right, so far so good. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, what next, what next, what do we need to do? First we'll see what Pokemon he's going to send out. Shiftery, alright. Gonna go for a play rough. I'm gonna heal up Leaks and hopefully we can live a turn with both. Oh, that poison sucks. We got... Yes, just lived. Nice, we got four restores. Ooh. Yeah, we'll live, we'll live. The um, hill won't hit per circle, will it? Right. Oh no, it does. But we oh no, I thought we just lived for a second. That would have been that would have been great. Right, so I have full restore leaks, 100 percent Go into you. And we go for a poison jab to take out shiftery, 100 percent Right, full restore. This time we got no poison, so that's good. I feel like you're gonna attack leaks again, so I'm gonna go for detect. Ooh, that's not good for us. Um, there's not much I can do, honestly. I think I just have to go for the the attack and then just detect. Nice. He's probably gonna go for psychic on me. Yeah. Saw that coming. That's fine. That's fine. Okie dokie. Now, let's go. Let's go rot. Gonna go for a dragon dance. I think we can get one off at least. Then potion up leaks. That's fine, that's fine. There's the dragon dance. Okay, that's, that's okay, that's okay. Wish it was a little different, but like I said, it's, it's all okay. It's all okay. I think the hit is the hail gone. I think it is. The weather ball shouldn't kill me. Um, I'm gonna double attack the rosary. So I want that gone. Oh, that works. Conjuring now, outspeed it. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is going pretty well. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, that should actually be okay. If we get the hurricane off, we should just kill it. Don't get flinched. Okay, we missed a hurricane. That sucks, but it's fine. Dragon Rush. Alright, one down. What is it? Four more to go. First knight defeated. May you blossom in your other battles. Thanks. The other Chroma Knights await you in the rooms which follow. Can I leave? No. Uh, well, I can leave, but I don't want to like end the challenge right now. So we better uh, revive and hope we can um, win. Because I haven't got much. I haven't got much. Uh, actually, what I want to do is I want to save it. All right. And then we can see what type you are first. 
I have no idea what type you are then, we can adjust, but welcome trainer, I will be your next opponent. My name is Tony, my type of uh, preference is that of steel type Pokemon, okay. As part of the Chroma Knights, I represent the advancement of the human race. Every day we develop new devices, new vehicles, new buildings. The possibilities for the future are limitless. We're in the age of technology and it is my job to oversee that technology is used for progression and not digression. Whatever we do as humans must not impact the lives of the creatures we share this world with. Now, show me the progression you have made as a trainer. Uh, I'll try, I'll try. Steel type, this is gonna be kind of difficult. Let me short to do. Uh, let's fake out Skarmory. Do a bit of damage with Brick Break. Time for this, I kind of miss. I got Swords Dance TM. Maybe I could teach it to Leak still. And then we can go from there. Light screen, Okie Dokie, and Stealth Rocks. Oh, okay, that was that was like a bubble beam for Break Break there. I don't know what happened. Uh, okay. I just used two Brick Breaks. Um, I got like an error code coming up. I'm not going to complain. I ain't going to complain. I'll take that. <laughs> don't know what happened, but sure. Uh, let's knock off Metagross. I kind of want to go for Brick Break again in case it breaks and I can keep going for it. But that damage is nice. That damage is nice. Um, gonna go for one more Screech on Clef Key because I think if I hit it with any physical attack, it should probably okay. It should do a lot of damage. Ooh. Uh, let's go. Let's go rot. And then I'm gonna go for a gr I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance, and then another knockoff. Take out the Metagross. I'm a bit scared of the Cliff Key. I honestly thought would. Okay, never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Um, can't. Oh, I know. I can go. Mm. No, let's go into Bingo. And if we go for a Rock Slide and a Brick Break, this should do some... Oh, Mega Sizzle, okay. That should be fine. Not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more damage from on the Clef Key, but the Brick Break into... Oh, the Flinch, nice. Sizzle would be good. Uh, I guess it's... Gotta be overdrive. And brick brick again. Light screen, that sucks. Oh, okay. Got the error message again. Brick brick, I don't know why you keep breaking, but <laughs> I'll take it. Please don't fix. Or fix when I win the battle. <laughs> um alright, I'm gonna go hyper and then brick brick again. Once we run out of PP, that's when things are going to get really difficult. Nice. That's not bad damage. Overdrive. Another... Oh, Swagger. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nice, we get through. I think we win. Oh, we got flinched. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to give a Toxic. I know it's not going to affect it. I know. I just want to save some PP. So yeah, just do that to save PP. Other moves. Alright, that's done. As you have overcome me, here he you are now able to advance into the next room. So I'm guessing it'll be um, Kabalion next, and then it'll be uh, Keldeo. That didn't go as bad as I thought. I think because we just we don't have the best matchup against grass types. And once we did, it was kinda like there were dual grass type and just wrecked us a little bit. Right, so what next? So rock, I'm guessing. A new challenger. 
been a while since anyone has gotten this far. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name's Sierra. My Pokemon are the rep representation of the rock solid physical world. Whatever happens in life, you must be hardy and weather through to get through the harshest of times. Once you do, you may find beauty in the world. Think about it this way. If you climb a mountain, the journey may be hard, but the view from the summit will be spectacular. The higher you go, the more you see. Now it's time for you to climb that mountain. All right, let's go. Let's see how well we can do here. Pseudo Wood and Tyranitas with Mega Tarantara, isn't it? They've all led off with a Mega at the start. So I think the best thing to do is probably fake out Tyranitar and Brick Break it. Mega Tyranitar, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, you love to see it, man. You love to see it. Mega Tarantar not, uh, not a doesn't have a chance against Sir Fetch, man. Alright, what next? Aerodactyl, though. Gonna go for an Iron Tail and then Brick Break the Pseudo Wudo. If we want to get that. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm gonna actually heal up Leeks. So I think Leeks is gonna be very good in this battle, so it's probably a good idea to keep him as healthy as possible. And we've almost run out of potions, which sucks. Ouch. Ouch. Woodhammer sucks as well. Right, what can we do? What can we do? I guess we... Ooh. Let's go... Uh, give me a six first. Take out that Aerodactyl. That's going to be the pain in the butt to deal with. Just Iron Tail you and then Overdrive. Don't get flinched. Beautiful. Iron Tail lands, that's quite nice. <laughs> yes! Oh, the first night was so difficult, and now it's just like. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. Uh, Rhyperia. And Terrakion, okay. I'm gonna hit you with that. And I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm gonna Toxic Terrakion. If we, nope, can't get it off. It's fine, we come in, grab Apple. Rhyperia is super dead. Right, not even gonna Dragon Dance, gonna go straight for the attack. Just gonna Poison Jab and hopefully pray. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say pray for the uh, poison, but I'll take it. Oh, you just lived? Okay, that's not great. Honestly, this is looking quite bad. But, 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 we're still in a good position, I think. If we go Rock Slide, Hurricane. Next you out and Hurricane could still do some damage, especially if we get the Confusion. No Confusion, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Just go Crunch, Hurricane again. If we land this, it's all good. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. Told ya. If I risk, if I risk it, <laughs> we lose. That was, that was close. That was very, very close. All right. Fake out. Finishes it off. Right there we go. Whew. Oh man, that combo was rock solid. Be sure to keep your resolve against the champ. Is the champ next? Because I feel like... Yeah, the leader of the knights and the champ in the region. So there's only four, okay. So I was, I was thinking, is there four and then the champion or is there just like, you know, four because of the um, Swords of Justice? But we are lucky there's only four. So it'd be Keldeo next. So he could be a water type trainer. He could be like completely random. I know Keldeo's water fighting. Um, I don't even know what to lead off with, honestly. I think we've got just enough revives and potions to get through this next match. And I think we'd then finish the game, maybe. Well, we've still got that like unknown area. So we'll see. Oh, it could be water type, actually. You made it. I had a feeling you would. Of everything you've uh, been through, this will be your true champion test. You started your journey all the way back in Sagetown and battled your way through the gyms to find yourself here on Victory Isle. 
I too also started in a very small town. The, uh, oh, Annecy Ranch to be exact. What is, oh, I think we, yeah, um, someone mentioned you before, right? Um, I think I remember, vaguely remember someone saying the champion was from the ranch or a good trainer. But I'd assume you passed through on your journey. You may have met my grandparents. They own a small Pokemon daycare there. Hey! My role as a knight is to protect the balance between humans and Pokemon. Both are connected, but an unbreakable bond. The Pokemon team who stand with you now will be relying on you to get through them, get them through this battle. Stand strong, Foltsy. Alright, if you're water type, then I think that's probably more in our favor. Okay, so I'm gonna try this battle again. We lost the first time. And it was one of them situations where you know when you lift the wrong Pokemon, like you can win the battle easy, but because you let off the wrong Pokemon, you struggle to find your footing. It was just one of them situations. So now we're gonna fake out how Lucha. Hurricane the Heracross, which we should be able to one-shot. It's a Mega Heracross as well. Nice, nice, nice. So we one-shot that. Beautiful. And Keldeo. If I can get the play rough off, that would be insane. Hurricane Keldeo. And then the high jump kick. That sucks. But it's all good. It's all good. I see one will kill me, but does some damage. And we missed a Hurricane. That's annoying. I'm not glad that kind of sucks. Um... So I'm gonna actually do this. I'd rather not, but I want to max potion the Dragonite. I want to land that Hurricane on Keldeo. That's what I really want to do. And if you're double attacking me, the Icy Wind potentially could take me out. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> and we've got the Confusion as well. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Um, let's max potion once more. And then I can... That's Hurricane Howlucha. I'm going to bank on Keldeo Hurt itself. It's a good chance. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, getting rid of the Keldeo would be smart, but I was hoping it would hurt itself. But it's fine if it didn't. So that's gone now. Gallade. Oh, Gallade's going to be a pain in the butt. So, I need to get rid of Gallade more than anything, to be fair. Because Keldeo, I've got, I've got Pokemon to deal with Keldeo. Like Yumi at 6 and Rot, they can deal with it. It's the Gallade that's going to be an issue. So let's full restore. Hurt yourself, please, just once. Nice! That's so nice. Sorry, Leeks, I did want to try and use you, but that's not nice. That's actually really annoying. Um, gotta go bingo. Maybe I go for a rock slide. Do we outspeed Keldeo? I don't know if we do. I'm going to go for Crunch. Cause I'm not sure if we outspeed it. Send out Confusion. Hydro Pump. That sucks. Oh, I, went, I, I attacked Keldeo. I meant to attack Gallade. I mean, it's fine. As long as we get rid of Keldeo. That's good, that's good. I guess we've got to bring in Rot. I could try and chance a... Ooh, never mind. I'm going to go double attack it. Dragon Rush and Draco Meteor. That's probably going to kill us both. Oh, we just lived. We just lived. We should get one attack off at least. And Draco Meteor should hopefully take out the Kamoo. Nice. Okay, now I've got to deal with the Gallade, which is going to be an issue. But if I heal up and go for a fly, is that your last Pokemon? It is. Nice, because Gallade could just Zen Headbutt and destroy Toxtricity, unfortunately. Go for a Restore, go for a fly. Oh, you Shadow Sneak him. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I actually really like that. And I'm going to revive uh, Perserker, just in case. And you missed the Zen head, but oh my god, that luck. That absolute luck. Not that it mattered, but. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Voxy, you and your Pokemon truly are mighty. I've only ever met a few trainers like yourself. I must now pass on my title to you as the Pokemon champion of the Chroma region. Please follow me and we can record your win in the Hall of Fame. Sounds good. Voxy, this journey has now come to an end. However, it only opens up new adventures to be had. With the title of champion, many trainers will want to test their might against you. It's kind of your job now to show them why you're a champion. Hey. This is the Hall of Fame. We record the teams of every trainer who takes the title of champion. This is the Hall of Fame. Please place your partner Pokemon on the machine in front of you, so they will be entered alongside you as champions. Hey. Berserker. Mwah. Dragonite. Mwah. Just give an all chef's kiss. Lycanroc. Mwah. 
Especially like a rock, get mwah, get two. And surf fetch gets two. Mwah, mwah. Toxicity, again, another two. Mwah, mwah. And Flapple, you get one. Mwah. And one as a whole as a team. Mwah. Good team. Very good team. So I wonder if there's any post game for this game. And there I am. Woo. Very fun game. Still got that unknown area. And like, I wonder if this game could potentially get a sequel because like we still got all the other people Team Rumble, like the higher ups, they wanted us to join, didn't they? Obviously I know Arthur, we, Arthur was the leader, but it seemed like he was like kind of co-leader a little bit. But Charizard Free, you've done it again, man. Good game. Good game. So yeah, we'll let the credits roll and then we'll get back into this. Oh, okay, so congratulations Voltsy for completing Pokemon Aurelion. Oh, Aurelion side, the current game is now complete, however I have many ideas to expand and develop if the feedback for Aurelion is decent. I would still be adding a few edits now and again to this game just to fix any issues which get flagged up. Hope you enjoyed playing a Pokemon Aurelion. Please let the creator know any thoughts you've had about this project and if you could report any bugs so that they can be fixed, that would be great. Thank you again for playing Pokemon Aurelion. Hey, hope you'll be back in the future for a new updated version with fingers crossed a post game, yes! I'll be down 100% for a post game, 100% I really enjoyed this game, it was so good, so so good man, just uh, only thing I did not like was Arthur Battle, that Arthur Battle was, <laughs> it was so hard man, like I think the stat boosts he gets 
bit too many, a bit too many, especially because he's got the legendaries, but I guess the AI isn't the smartest for him. But um, yeah, apart from the alpha battle, yeah, really enjoyed it. The <laughs> alpha battle kicked my butt so many times. I think I spent a good like hour and a half on him, but uh, yeah, got there in the end. I really enjoyed this game and if the post game does come, we'll, we'll come back for it and do, do that. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to obviously play the game, link in the description down below. Go so go show Charizard uh, free some love. Link to his YouTube channel is down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.